Okay, now we're going to go to question four in the free response or question number 18 in that sample exam one in Chem 11. In this case, we're given two plots and it says that the student reacts two things here, nitrogen monoxide gas and oxygen gas to produce nitrogen dioxide gas. And then what she did is plot the mass of the reactant used in the reaction and the mass of the product on the y-axis. In the left side, the mass of the nitrogen monoxide, the product here is on the y-axis, and then uh, same thing on the right side, except that the x-axis here corresponds to the mass of the oxygen gas. And the question is, which one is the limiting reactant of the two reactants you have? So remember that what limiting reactant is, is the reactant that limits how much product you make. So that means the following, that if you increase the quantity of the limiting reactant, you should make more product. If you decrease the quantity of the limiting reactant, you should make less product. That's the definition of limiting reactant. So let's take a look at these two plots right here to see which uh, reactant matches that definition. If you look at the nitrogen monoxide gas right here, uh, at the beginning, you see that as you increase nitrogen monoxide, it also goes up, right? So that's good. So that's kind of matching what we expect of a limiting reactant. But at some point, you keep increasing, right? Because if you go this way on the x-axis, you keep increasing the value. When you increase the value or the mass of the nitrogen monoxide, now that your product is no longer... Um, increasing so it just stays the same in other words what this plot the first one is telling you the left plot is that increasing nitrogen monoxide does not change the amount of product now if changing the quantity of no doesn't change the quantity of product you make then that's not your limiting reactant because by definition limiting reactant the more limiting reactant you have the more product you should have now if you look at your oxygen you can see that as you increase the oxygen going this way on the x-axis, your product also increases. So you have a, a linear relationship here. So of course that implies that increasing oxygen also increases the product NO2. So oxygen is the limiting reactant because that's what limiting reactant is. It's something that uh, causes or that determines how much product you're going to make.